Hello ladies and gentlemen, Tevron here and welcome to another episode of Friday Night Magic. This week we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, I've recently started playing on Modo again, more commonly known probably as Magic the Gathering Online. I played way back when, when it first came out a long time ago and we, uh, a lot of people called it Magic Online uh, Digital Objects Shortened Modo. What we're going to be doing today is playing in a Popper daily event. I'm going to be running Delver. As you can see, I'm just getting started with my collection again. Got a lot of mismatched, mismatched lands and whatnot. Running uh, 18 islands, 4 Delver of Secrets, 4 Ponders, 4 Preordain, a Bone Splitter, 4 Cloud of Fairies, Four snaps, four spell stutter sprite, four counter spell, two deprive, one frostburn weird, four ninja of the deep hours, two gush, and two spire golems. In the sideboard, we're running two anol, three dispel, three hydra blast, one seagate oracle. Three Stormbound Geist, and three Curse of Chains. Hopefully we'll do pretty well in this three-round event. Either way, we'll see what happens. For those of you that may not be familiar with the Popper format, uh, it is a format that allows cards that have been printed throughout Magic from the very beginning, but only commons. If a card has ever been printed at common, it can be used in Popper. Um, say it was uncommon in its first printing and then downgraded to common in a future printing, it will be forever common, even if it's the other way around and it was common at first and then they upgraded it to uncommon. It will still be legal in Popper. I do apologize also if there are some throat clearings or coughs or sniffles that I fail to edit out that I may miss during editing. I am feeling a bit under the weather right now. My voice is scratchy and I'm kind of got a little bit of congestion. Hopefully I'll get all of them if I do have to clear my throat or cough or whatnot, but just in case, I'd like to apologize in advance. Looks like we're waiting for our opponent to choose whether or not to go first. They rolled a five and we rolled a one. Okay, our opponent has chosen to play first. Now they're choosing whether to mulligan. As for whether we're going to mulligan or not, this hand is a little iffy. We do have a ponder with the island so that we can look for another land drop. Our only creature in hand is Frostburn Weird. I actually think I'm going to mulligan this. And now we've mulliganed to worse. <laughs> Can't keep this at all. All right, I like this. We'll keep this. Keep. And put that on top. They have instituted the scry rule for mulliganing on Magic Online now. If you mulligan, when you decide to keep your hand, you get to scry the top card of your library and choose whether to put it on the top or bottom. I think we're going to go ahead and ponder. Ooh, this is pretty good. I'm not too happy about the Spire Golem, but the two ninjas are nice. No, we're not going to shuffle. And we will F6 to our opponent's turn. Looks like we, they, they are running some sort of life gain creatures deck, which the Suture Priest also can cause your opponent to lose life. See what they've got in store for us here. Okay, we know we're drawing a ninja. What we're going to do is play Cloud of Fairies, which is going to cause our opponent to gain a life and us to lose a life. have our lands for Cloud of Fairies. Now we do have mana up for Counterspell. 
which is nice because I don't want my opponent to keep getting these cards in play. There's quite a few of these that have similar effects to this. Don't want Order of Lietbert either. Go ahead and counter that. So our ch opponent chose not to attack. He doesn't want to lose his creatures. We, on the other hand, are going to attack. Okay, our opponent declared no blockers. He couldn't. They don't fly. We are going to ninja in our Ninja of the Deep Hours. Returning our Cloud of Fairies to hand. And now that will give us a card draw. Hopefully... A land. Yes, I do want to draw. Thank you very much. And there is our land. Nice. So our opponent is free to attack us now. Cast another Suture Priest. This is getting a little out of hand. gaining him a lot of life and it's going to cost us a lot of life and not just with him attacking now each creature we play is going to drain us for two all right before we play anything i want to see if i can get in with ninja hopefully we can get him to block though drawing a card would be good i'd like to get one of these suture priests off the board before i cast a creature our opponent is down to two cards in hand while we have five, which is good for us. He does have a better board presence at the moment. Okay, so he does not want to lose his Suture Priest. Honestly, can't really blame him. Yes, I want to draw. A Ponder. Okay. So I'm going to cast a Cloud of Fairies. Our opponent put his uh, big abilities onto the stack there. He's going to gain one, and we are going to lose two. Yeah, untap my lands. Thank you very much. Now, the question is whether I want to play Spire Golem or Delver and Ponder. And I think I just want to get Spire Golem down. With Affinity for Islands, we can play it for three, since we have three islands out there. Affinity for whatever the affinity is for reduces the casting cost by the number of those things that you have. So we've got blockers now for his creatures. I expect not to see him swing in unless he's got some sort of buff or removal. Oh, God, this is bad. Yeah, he's going to combo us out, it looks like. Hopefully not. Hopefully we can put up a little bit more resistance. But that's a lot of life gain. I think he has. He can flash back. Yeah, he can. So now he's got blockers for our flyers. And he is going up, up, up in life. He has enough birds in play to block and kill our Spire Golem, though two of his would die as well. Hmm. I think I want to start off with a Ponder. Bone Splitter looks good. Yeah. I think we want to draw Bone Splitter. All right, because that is not going to trigger his lose life from creatures there. So the question is, do I put it on the Spire Golem or the Ninja? I kind of want to leave the Spire Golem back to block. Go ahead and equip it to the Ninja there. Which is almost certainly going to draw a double block from our opponent. Though he is at 35 life. Maybe, maybe he doesn't really care. He 
Yeah, he wants to kill the ninja. That's fine. That's fine order as well. All right. Well, we got two of his creatures off the board. That's something. About to draw up to two cards in hand. I don't know if we, we're going to be able to come out of this with as good a start as he's gotten. Oh, my God. Another ba battle screech. That's awful for us. It's going to take a lot to deal that much damage through this number of creatures. Yep, flash it back. At this point, I may want to consider scooping just to get into the next game. All right. So I think, again, Ponder is the correct play here. And I honestly don't think I want any of these. I mean, Deprive would be okay. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle. Okay, we drew Delver anyway. Even though it's going to cost me life, I'm going to have to cast some creatures. So, cast... Tap, please. So, if he attacks now, I can block two. Take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can't actually afford to cast another creature. Well, it would it would constitute a blocker. So I guess I could cast one more. <sighs> All right. Let's go ahead. Go down to seven. We have to block with everything, though, to stay alive if he swings out. We'll go ahead and equip Bone Splitter on a Cloud of Fairies, I suppose. And we can't attack. We can't afford to. Order? Yep, can't do anything about that. Are you going to swing? You probably should swing. Yep. Oh, not with those. So we're actually in not as bad a shape as I thought. So, let's see. We will block there. Block there. And we, we pretty much have to block. Just to prevent as much damage as we can. All right. Oh, great. <laughs> uh, we, we've lost this game. There, there's no doubt. I'll see what we draw. If it's not something incredible, uh, then I'm going to concede and we'll go to game two. Not reveal because it's not an instant or sorcery. And we're dead, so we'll concede. Get into our sideboarded games. What can I bring in versus this deck? Hmm. I mean, Dispel would counter raise the alarm. Most of the stuff that I saw, though, was sorcery, so it wouldn't work versus that. I could bring in some more creatures, Stormbound Geists and Seagate Oracle. That may not be a bad idea. I don't think anything that he's got is huge, so I don't know that Curse of Chains is that good a card. I think what I'm going to do is cut some snaps. See what I want to bring in first. I want to bring in Seagate Oracle and Stormbound Guys, so that's four cards. Need to cut two more to get back down to 60. I don't think bringing in Dispel is going to help. I'm going to cut two Deprives. I don't know that Counter Magic is that good in this matchup. 
and we'll see if we can't get a better start. We did, we did after all mulligan to five. I'll go ahead and submit this and see what game two brings us. Yes, I would like to be on the play. Thank you. And I'm going to keep this. We've got two preordains. We've got three delvers. In fact, I don't think I'm going to preordain. I think I'm just going to cast a, cast a delver and hope to flip it. And then we can preordain for a land drop on turn two. I think what is going to let us win this, if we're actually capable, this may just be a horrible matchup for us. But what's going to allow us to win this is going to be aggression. Opponents asking if we're a fan of Shannara books. I missed that at the beginning there. Told our opponent there that, I guess he's asking about my name. Alicorn's my handle on Modo. And he's asking, I guess, if it came from the Shannara books. I uh, told him that I, I've read a few, but the, the name is from Piers Anthony. From his Apprentice Adept series. Uh, Alicorn is a winged unicorn. So, or, or, or you could say it's a pegasus with a unicorn horn. Either way. Right, what are we showing? Spire Golem? No. So that doesn't flip our Delver. Let's go ahead and preordain. See if we can find an island. And we did. Spell Stutter Sprite. I think I want Spell Stutter Sprite. So I'll put that on top. We'll draw the island. And we'll go ahead and drop our other Delver. I don't think our opponent's going to block. So I'm just going to swing in. He didn't see, seem very eager to block in the first game, so I believe to him that the life gain from these creatures is more important than getting ours off the board. Journey to nowhere. Okay. Yep. So we're going to get hit for two here. This is a better start for us than last time, though. Yeah, we know it's not going to be an instant or sorcery. We saw that. The question is whether we we risk preordaining for another land or hold up spell stutter sprite. I think I'm going to risk it. I'm going to preordain, hope to hit a land, then I can hold up spell stutter sprite, and I did. So we'll put that on top. That on top. We'll draw the island, and now we have spell stutter sprite mana. Hopefully he'll cast a one drop and we can actually get a use out of that. And he did. I don't think I really care about Doomed Traveler though, I'll be honest. I would much rather care counter one of his life gain creatures. And I can't counter a Squadron Hawk with Spell Stutter. So there goes that plan. Guess I should have Spell Stuttered the Doomed Traveler. Our Delver is going to flip this time, though. Yes, reveal that, please. Okay, and we will swing. He's got a blocker, but it can't kill our insectile aberration. I guess now I will play my other Delver. Go ahead and always yield to that. And hold up counter spell slash spell stutter sprite. They do know that we've got a counter spell. And I think I want to counter this hawk. I don't want him to be able to block and kill my insectile aberrations. Okay, Doom Traveler's fine. I mean, it's not fine, but it's it's better than Squadron Hawk is for us. Yep, I'm not going to block. Hopefully we'll flip our other Delver. Snap, yes. All right. So. 
Hmm, we got a lot of lines of play here. Well, first of all, we're going to swing for six. There's no doubt about that. Then I could snap and untap lands and then Spire Golem. I could continue to hold up Spell Stutter Sprite. Although Spell Stutter Sprite's getting to the point I don't think it's going to counter a whole lot that's meaningful. I think what I'm going to do is Spire Golem. Then I'm going to Gush, returning two islands. And we can replay one of them. And I think that's probably our best play right there. I may be wrong, but it seems okay. Ooh, Battle Screech. That's bad. I mean, we couldn't have countered it, but it's, that doesn't change the fact that it's really bad for us. Although with Snap, we can do some shenanigans. Yep, cash with Flashback. Gain some more life. Do we want to give him more flyers and more life gain triggers? I don't think so at the moment. I think I'm going to go ahead and take the damage. When Doom Traveler dies, he gets a 1-1 one, one spirit with flying. Looks like we're waiting for our opponent to pass priority during our upkeep. Hmm. Okay, definitely the play is Island and then Cloud of Fairies. Now we're going to gain him a life. And we will untap our lands. And then we're going to attack with all that. If he double blocks some of these, I can snap one back, and then he'll lose two of them. Yep, there we go. Ah, he's he's kind of cagey to that. So I'm actually not going to snap in this case, because this is going to kill all of these anyway. Yep. Yep, that's fine. I'm going to cast a Stormbound Geist. Let's try to out-creature our opponent here. At least he's not up to 40, 40 life this game. Now it's Squadron Hawk. Now, I could have left mana open and spell stuttered that. I do have another fairy in play now, and spell stutter would have countered the Squadron Hawk. Just felt like developing my board was a better option there. Ooh, okay. Pump his creatures up a little bit. All right. I am... Hmm. I don't think I'm blocking any of these, because the only thing I can block with is Cloud of Fairies, and I don't want to do that. Counter spells nice. So now we've got two counters up. I am going to not swing with the cloud, but I will swing with everything else. Hmm. Okay, so I want to kill the Squadron Hawk. Which I guess I've accidentally passed by my assigned order. It's okay. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of one of these other ones as well. Still going to kill my aberration. That's fine. 
and we have counter magic up now. We can potentially counter two things. Our opponent does have two cards in hand. Hopefully one of them is two or one mana cost. Because that's what our spell starter sprite can hit. It looks like our opponent is back. So play a land. Squadron Hawk. I'm going to spell stutter that. Does gain a life from our spell stutter sprite. And I'm fine to take damage from these doomed travelers at the moment. We still have Counterspell to hold up. And I believe we should still attack with our... Maybe we should just attack with the Stormbound Geist at this point. And leave our Spire Golem back to block. I think that may be the best play. It's kind of put a stop to his doomed traveler shenanigans there. I'm going to hold this island in hand. If we draw another land next turn, I can use it. I'm going to counter that. I don't want more creatures. Thank you. Not on your side, at least. Hopefully they didn't top deck something good. And I am going to block one of those. Maybe block both of them. Yeah, I'm going to block both of them. Block here, double block here, hopefully he hasn't got a combat trick to kill off one of our fairies. Now he gets two spirits, gains two life, but those are off the battlefield, and we can hopefully deal with these as well. Another Spire Golem. Now that's nice. I'm going to attack first. Just with the Geist. So no blockers. If he does block this, it has Undying. It will come back as a 3-3 once. I'm going to go ahead and cast our Spire Golem for two. And hold this island in our hand to bluff counter magic or something else. There's no real reason to play it right now. Okay, so our opponent is holding two cards as well. He could potentially be doing the same thing that we are. All right, I'm still just going to swing with the Stormbound Geist. No blockers, I'm going to ninjutsu in my ninja. Get us some card draw here. And then we can play our island and replay the Stormbound guys. Yes, I do want to draw. Thank you. And hopefully we can keep just slowly getting incremental advantage here and win this. Our clock is getting kind of low, though. 10 minutes to our opponent's 14. No, no profitable attacks there for our opponent. Just drew an island. I don't see any reason not to go ahead and swing with the ninja as well, though, since it will kill whatever he blocks with it. Blocks it with. Guess would be the correct way to say that. And I think they definitely want to block it. Yeah. Yeah. If you're going to block with one, you might as well block with two there. And there's... Yeah, we can change the blocking order. It doesn't matter. They're both the same creature. Hmm. Three? What are you casting? Some sort of rally effect. Oh, Soul's Attendant plus 
Uh, just tapping three for the heck of it. All right. Okay, Cloud of Fairies. Hmm. I'm going to start swinging with two of these. Guardian's Pledge, plus two, plus two. Okay. I mean, I can't do anything about it. I don't have any counter magic in hand. Can't kill either of those. All right. So go ahead and cast our cloud, even though it's going to gain him two life. He did use his buff there on defense instead of offense, so there is that. Oh, this is getting out of hand. Yeah, flash it back. This is pretty bad for us. I don't think we're going to win this match. It's fine, though. You can't win them all. A ninja. Hmm. Still think I gotta try to get in there with the Geist. And if he doesn't block it, I can ninjutsu. Okay. That's fine. Probably just want to hard cast this ninja. Gain our opponent two more life. They're back up to 24 now. Which is not good for us if you hadn't deduced that already. <laughs> okay, so nothing from our opponent there. Hmm, ponder, please. Okay, all of those are decent. Hmm. I think we want the counter spell right now. And we can draw into spell stutter sprite. I don't want to shuffle, no. Kind of don't even want to attack. Because no matter what, we can't kill more than one with our geist. And he can definitely kill it while only losing one. That's just not favorable for us. Once we get our snap in hand, we can maybe do some tricky things. But our opponent's well aware of snap by the way he's been blocking thus far. Go ahead and play our island now. Pass back. Okay, there's Snap. The question is if I want to try to do some combat tricks or just start, use it, just use it to pick off one of his tokens. I think I'm going to sit back on it for right now. I may use it at the end of his turn to get rid of one of his token creatures. As a token, they can't bounce to his hand. They just disappear if you bounce them from the battlefield. Opponents saying that his deck is good versus Delver. Uh, it is very good versus Delver, it appears. Let me go ahead and snap one of these. I'm just going to spell stutter that. There 
There we go. And tap for the snap there. And we drew a Delver. That's decent, I suppose. We can try to start eating through his tokens there. I think I'm going to attack with Geist now. Even killing one of them at this point is halfway decent for us. Okay, yeah, he's well aware of Snap. I want them in that order. Yep, that's good. Go ahead and cast Delver. Let our opponent gain yet more life. Okay. I guess our opponent's just kind of content to sit back, especially with us with lower time on our clocks. Uh, no, let's not reveal that. We will, however, cast it. Seems like my cat's going a little bit crazy in the window over there. Sorry about that. If you heard that, uh, that commotion. Because on Magic Online, unlike duels, there is a time limit. If I run out of time, I lose, no matter what the game score is or whatnot at that point. Can we flip it? Holy light, non-white creep, no. No, thank you. Yes, I do want to reveal that. And we'll go ahead and cast it, returning their two tapped islands. Seagate Oracle's pretty good as well. So let's ponder first. Kind of want that counter spell. So want the island the least. We don't want to shuffle. We'll get the counter spell. Play a land. I'm going to go ahead and cast Seagate Oracle. I will put into my hand the Preordain and put that one on the bottom. Hmm. I think I want to swing with... The Geist and the Spire Golem. Kills the Geist, it'll get bigger. Good thing we got this counter spell. Otherwise, we'd have just lost both of those, which we'd have got the Geist back, but you know. All right, hopefully he hasn't got something insane with our counter magic all down. That's pretty insane. Yeah, we're, we're just definitely not winning this match. I don't think we're even winning this game. There's just too much, too much stuff on his side of the board that we can't deal with. Frostburn Weird's nice. Let's preordain, see what we see. Put that on the bottom, put it on the top. A little ponder. I don't know what we're looking for. I don't think there's anything that gets us through this. Bone Splitter's nice. Uh, no. Go ahead and swing with that with a bone splitter on it. That way it can kill two creatures if he blocks it. Go 
yeah, he's not worried about the damage at this point. Guess we go ahead and empty our hand. And we'll F6 to pass to all the priorities. Drew another island. Here comes the gosh that's not really doing much of anything. Yeah, he's pretty content just to sit back. But it doesn't really have to do anything to win this game. To win this match. Get in there with the Frostburn Weird. We can pump it as well. Well, let's raise the alarm. I don't have any counters this time. Yeah, I'm not going to run this clock out. I'm going to go ahead and tell our opponent good game and concede. Well, that was match one. Hopefully match two and three will be a bit better. Okay, so we won the die roll this game. We do want to go first. And this is a really good hand. I'm going to keep this. Just drop our Delver. Maybe flip him and start swinging for three. Red, huh? We playing burn or maybe is it? Oh uh, no, no use to reveal that. Guess we're gonna ninja in our ninja of the deep powers, ninjutsu it in. No blocks. There we go. See if we can draw. Something that's nice. Another Delver's pretty nice. We can kind of explode all over the board next turn. Hopefully that doesn't sound too nasty. Flame Rift. Yep, looks like we're playing Burn. Hopefully we can outrace it. Go ahead and see what we draw. Yes, please. Another ninja, okay. Guess we'll play our cloud of fairies. Then play both of our delvers. So this is a pretty good start. If he doesn't have scouring sands or something like that to, to wipe our board. Electricery. There's a lot of spike to our face. At the moment, we're doing a decent job racing him, but he's still got... Yeah, there. Takes us to 10, and he's still got four cards in hand. And Fire Blast is considered a common, because it was printed as common at one point. Please flip. Yes. And a counterspell, no less. Counterspell is good to have. Yes, I want to draw with the ninja. And I'm leaving mana for counterspell. Could have dropped the bone splitter, I suppose. Truth is, I kind of misclicked and went on, <laughs> on through the rest of my turn there. I'm not going to counter shock. I will counter a three damage spell, though, or one that's about to kill us. Yeah, there's Fire Blast. We're going to counter it. So, do you have another Fire Blast? Take another four damage spell to do it, but the only other one in there is Flame Rift, and that would kill you. I'm just going to swing. I think we've got our opponent here. Especially with the Spell Stutter Sprout in hand. Uh, 
All right. Begin sideboarding. All right. So this is a pretty easy matchup to sideboard for. Move over. Well, there we go. We want Hydra Blasts. We want Dispels. These decks usually run few to no creatures. Sometimes it runs, I believe they're called Keldon Marauders, the ones that are two mana, three threes. When they come into play or leave the battlefield, do one damage to your opponent. And they have uh, Vanishing of two, I think, or three. Anyway, what do we want to take out? I think we want to take out our Snaps. Don't foresee us. I mean, we could use them to snap our, our uh, Spell Stutter Sprites to get re reuse of counter spells out of them. I don't think it's that important, though. I think I want to take out the Frostburn Weird. And probably, like, one Preordain. That seems good. I think I want pretty much everything else. We need to try to kill our opponent as quickly as possible, so I don't want to cut a bunch of creatures that can get in there. I do want the counter magic, though, to stop the burn. All right, let's submit. Looks like our opponent wants to go first. That's almost certainly the right call, and I will be keeping this hand. Looks like our opponent kept his seven as well. Now, I could hold up Hydra Blast, but I think I'm going to go ahead and ponder. Just to try to smooth out our draw here. Hmm. I think I want to draw Delver right now. So I'll put Ponder, Spire Golem, Delver. No. Next turn, that will give us a pretty, pretty good turn. We can cast Cloud of Fairies, untap our lands, drop Delver, or cast two Cloud of Fairies, uh, Delver, and then still have a mana open for Hydra Blast. No, it's incinerate. Can't do anything about it. We're tapped out. Force of Will is not a common. Right, here we go. Cloud of Fairies, please. Yep. Untap. Cloud of Fairies. Untap. And Delver. All right. Probably we'll just counter whatever he casts burn-wise that isn't like a shock. Especially if he casts like an, ele an electricity. Electricery. Flame Rift. Um, yeah, I'm going to counter that. Even though it hurts us both, I still want to protect my life total. And those four... Oh, Pyroblast. Okay, that's fine. Those four damage spells are pretty good for our opponent. All right, let's flip our Delver, please. Yes. All right, let's get in there. The question is, do I ponder and risk not hitting an island to make our counterspell active? I think I do. We should be able to hit a land. Of course we didn't. Hmm. Uh, yes, shuffle, please. Still no land. Okay, not much I can do about that. Our opponent's in a better position this game, it seems like. Of course, they are down to three spells now. Hitting all his land drops, too. All right, there's a land. I think we want to go ahead and cast Cloud. And tap our lands. I'm going to hold up mana for Counterspell. Could drop a Spire Golem. I don't think it's necessary. Much rather counter something that's going to do damage to us or our, or our creatures. 
got a pretty good clock on our, our opponent right now. Barring some unforeseen circumstance, we would swing for the win next turn. Should he not kill us now or remove something from our board? Shard volley targeting me, that's fine, I'll take that. Alright, let's see if we can get the win here. Attack with all. Uh, we'll counter that or try to. Don't want our aberration to die. Don't know if this is going to resolve. There's the pyroblast, okay. Well, I guess it does die then. That's fine. At least you have no cards in hand. I don't think there's a single card that can do the job on its own. Electricery would clear our board. Play it with overload. Okay, so he's going to buy himself another turn. And at this point, should we not draw... Yeah, th that's pretty good. All right, we'll swing for two, play Spire Golem, and Gush. And that will allow us to replay one land as well. If we happen to draw a Hydroblast or a Dispel, that would be really good. Casting Returning to Islands as an alternate mana cost, or alternate casting cost. We got a counter spell. I still think we've pretty much got our opponent dead. All right. Well, that certainly went better than our first match. See you for match three. All right, here we are for round three. I would like to play first. Thank you. I don't have a creature, but I don't think I can throw back a hand with two lands and three preordains in it, so I'm going to keep it. And hopefully our preordain will find us some gas. All right, our opponent has come and decided to keep their seven as well. We'll start off with preordain. I don't want either of these. Put on the bottom, put on the bottom. And we still drew a land. Please, please, let us see something good next turn. Okay, so... Demir of some sort. Maybe another color. Could be playing Familiar, which is an Esper colored deck. I'm gonna preordain first. I want both of these. Put on top. Put on top. All right. So that's, that's something at least. Next turn we at least get a cloud of fairies out. We could still cast our other preordain and hold up counter magic. All right. Let's start off with preordain. If something's going to get countered, I'd rather it be that than the cloud of fairies. And I want both of these as well, I think. Yeah. Put on top, put on top. That's good. We'll try to cast our Cloud of Fairies. It may not resolve. And it's not. Okay, so we got Counterspelled. Another, uh, oh, it's a guild gate this time. Hmm. All right, again, we're going to start off with a ponder. We want spell stutter sprite, I think, first. We want, I think we actually want the island on the bottom. No, don't shuffle. And we'll pass the turn. If our opponent doesn't play anything to counter with our spell stutter sprite, we will probably just flash it in at the end of their turn, or try to. 
impulse. Okay? I could flash it in right now. It wouldn't counter it. It would get the Spellstutter Sprite in play. I'd rather do it on their turn, where if they want to deal with it, they'll have to tap mana, though. Right? Try to flash in the Sprite, then. Yep. Exclude. Okay. All right, let's preordain. I think I want, I don't want the island. Put on top, thank you. And we've resolved a creature. Whether it lives until our next turn, though, is a mystery. Our opponent's very likely to have removal for it. I will let that preordain resolve. I want to counter removal if it comes. Okay, let's try to counterspell that. We're very likely to either see another piece of removal or a counter from our opponent. Okay. Not much we can do about that at this point. Gurmal Gangler, maybe? Yep, Gurmal Gangler. We got an answer for that, thankfully. Going to go ahead and do it now while our opponent is tapped out. And then we will hard cast our ninja. Could have waited and done it on our opponent's upkeep. With the amount of counter magic and removal and whatnot he's displayed, though, thus far, I, I really didn't want to do that. Okay, mystical teachings. No, I can't do anything about that. Got a ghastly demise. Okay, so that's a dead ninja. I think we definitely have some good sideboard cards for this. Cast a one mana fire golem. It's always cool. Would love to draw a gush at this point. Their opponent has enough mana to flash back their mystical teachings. I'm going to swing before I ponder, I think. Alright, let's ponder. Uh, I like all this stuff. I think I like the gush the most, though. So we'll bone splitter, delver, gush. No. And we're going to go ahead and pass. Okay, now we will gush in response. And I'm pretty happy with that outcome. We got our gush off. Yeah, so they went teachings for teachings. It's a pretty normal thing to see. Keep the tutor chain going. Okay. I think I'm going to try to snap my spire golem. Save its life. It's good for me then. Not good for dealing with his Gurmal Gangler whenever he replays it though. Yeah, there it is. All right. Well, ninja is something, I suppose.
I don't see any reason to hold back at this point. Might as well just dump what we can dump since he is tapped out. If we're lucky, we can flip our Delver and race him. But I'm guessing he's got removal, and if not, he's got mystical teachings to go for some. I'm not blocking that. Just wondering if we're going to see a main phase teachings. Oh, Evan Carr's Justice. Ooh, okay, I can't stop that. There goes Delver. You got another one? Wow. It's pretty good, it seems. That, however, is not. No reason not to just spend our mana and equip this guy up. This is not looking too good for us. And there's teachings. Probably for an answer to the ninja. Victim of night. That's definitely an answer to the ninja. Yep. I think our sideboard is going to be decent versus this, though. Hopefully it'll be good enough. And, yeah, there's no use playing this on. I mean, we could top deck something that would kind of extend it. Well, maybe not. Maybe it's not time to concede. He does have zero cards in hands. But a Mystical Teachings in the graveyard for flashback. See if he goes for another Evan Carr's Justice. Gush? All right, well, let's see. Float two and gush with the tapped islands. And that's a blocker. I don't know how many Evan Carr's Justice this guy's playing. And I'm going to bluff that I've got some stuff up. I'm not going to tap my lands to equip the Bone Splitter. This game's pretty well over. I mean, it just depends on whether it's this coming turn or if it takes two turns. Teachings is pretty much going to seal it. Yep. See what he gets. Get a little bit more information. Disfigure. Yeah, that's the game. We'll concede. Go to sideboard. All right. So, I think we want quite a bit for this matchup. We sure, for sure want Dispels and Stormbound Geists. We probably want Curse of Chains as well. And maybe Seagate Oracle. The question is, what do we take out to get those in? Because we definitely want to keep our counter magic. I don't think Bone Splitter is super good in this matchup. Doesn't seem like it would be. Snaps were okay. I could see cutting one. Uh, probably could cut a couple of preordains. Cut maybe. Maybe one ninja. And one Spire Golem. Just kind of shaving here and there. I don't think any of our stuff is especially bad. Maybe Frostburn Weird isn't that good. Okay, I want Stormbound Geists. I want Dispels. And do I want a Curse of Chains? Or Seagate Oracle? You may just want to bring back in a Ninja or a Spire Golem. Yeah, I think I'm going to bring back in a, my fourth Spire Golem. All right, let's see how this does. Yes, we will play first. 
and this is very iffy, but I'm going to keep it with the preordain. Yep, I think this deck tends to do that, especially since we are running all the cantrips in 18 lands. You need you a lot of times need to search for the second one. All right, it looks like our opponent has come back and decided to keep their hand. Let's go ahead and preordain. This looks pretty good. Don't think I want the ponder. Put it on the bottom. Put the land on the top. Though it could have been good to keep the ponder to look for yet another land. All right. F6 through there. Okay, so we have a Spell Stutter Sprite. Again, we may just flash that sucker into play at the end of our opponent's turn if there's nothing worth casting it on. Looks like there is, though. So that's a good use of a Spell Stutter Sprite. Not that he really had much targets in my hand. He could have got the Gush, and I'd... Would like to keep the gush, for sure. All right, so this is quite good. I think we want to cast the Stormbound Geist, since it has Undying. We'll make our board more resilient. Just F6, all the priority, let our opponent do what they will. We don't have any responses at the moment. I mean, we could gush. Maybe that's the right thing to do, but I don't really want to do that. Uh, I want to have my three lands out come next turn. I'll let him take the gush. All right, all the dismal backwaters in the world for our opponent. Disfigure, okay. Dispel's pretty good. Almost makes me not want to cast this other Geist, but I'm going to cast the Geist. The spell will be just as good later on. If it doesn't get the rest out of our hand. Okay, so he didn't like where this was going. Fair enough, then. I actually think this is a pretty good sideboard plan. I'm not sure I took the right things out but I'm pretty sure I brought the right stuff in. Argument could be made for Chains, Curse of Chains, to get Gurmog Anglers, because that's really the only creatures I saw out of my opponent. But I think it's pretty good as it is. We're going to try for Game 3. Oh, this is a good hand. I will not be mulliganing this hand. Hopefully our opponent will not have removal for our Delver. Most likely they will. We got other stuff as well. Kind of expecting a disfigure here. Yep. Yep, there it is. Well, at least we get to resolve Cloud of Fairies, two of them, and have Dispel Mana up still. So that's always good. All right. Uh, I don't think I'm going to cast anything. I think I'm going to keep holding up my mana here. Hopefully we'll draw a fourth land to where I can cast something and still hold up Dispel. Um, yeah, Dispel that. I think our opponent might have been searching for something, and I want to stop that. 
don't care to really lose either one of these cloud of fairies. They're not that big a threat anyway. And we always have snap to save them if we want to. Okay, I don't care about having my graveyard exiled. I don't really recur things in any event. Okay, let's get in there and then we'll play a Geist. Which will most likely get counterspelled. Yep, excluded, which is kind of better for my opponent since they can trip out of it and draw a card. All right, there goes a cloud of fairies. Okay, I was about to wonder if my opponent was going to miss a land drop, but apparently not. Hmm. All right. Again, I'm going to try for the Geist. Yep, another counter. So we will gush. And replay a land. Cloud of Fairy stays alive. We can ninjutsu next turn. Looks like it's going to be alive. Could get my ninja killed here, but we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll draw some land or get Diabolic Edict. Okay. Gotta try. If we just sit back, we'll definitely lose. We are up on cards at the moment, though. Okay, we drew a land. That is quite good. Let's, let's try for Cloud of Fairies first. Okay. All right, now we can try for Spire Golem and still have Counter Mana open for either Spell Stutter or Counter Spell. Try Spell Stutter that. Cloud of Fairies is a fairy, and it's not going to work because we're getting Edict. All right, so he counters our Golem. That's fine. He's down to one card. Two cards after draw. Angler? Okay. I mean, that's a 5-5. Five, five. Bigger than what I've got. Now's not when I want to start drawing lands. Hmm. No reason to hold back. I'm not going to be blocking that monster with spell stutter sprite. You know, I'm going to hold off on snapping it as well. Delver's pretty good. See what happens when we attack. Don't expect that he's too worried about being hit by a 1 1 over and over. Two cards. I kind of want to try to snap now. Okay. That's fine. It's a counterspell gone. Yes, reveal that. Let's ponder. That's a lot of good stuff. Hmm. I think 
We want the Stormbound last. Alright, so I'm gonna have to block at some point now. At least I have two counter spells in my hand while I beat down with this aberration. Maybe I should have put the Geist second. Right, let's block it this turn. Because Geist cannot block Gurmog, and I guess it would have been good to be able to start beating with it. Because I'm going to have to block Gurmog Angler with Insectile Aberration. What do we have here? Cast with Buyback. Uh, Counterspell? We'll need to draw something good next turn. We only have mana up for one counter. We have to block here. That's not good enough. All right, that's game over. We'll concede. Well, you win some, you lose some. I'd been doing better with this deck before, but you can never tell what you're going to go up against. I do think that this is pretty even matchup. I think if we'd have gone another three, it could have went either way. The white deck that we played first round was definitely a bad matchup for Delver. Overall, though, Delver is one of the top-tier decks of Popper. But that's it for this Friday Night Magic. If you've liked the video, please leave a like below. If not, uh, leave a dislike. Let me know what you think about the new format, whether you want to see more uh, Magic the Gathering online or whether you'd rather see more uh, Duels Origins. In any event, I will see you next time, and until then, be excellent to each other.